Hey guys, what's up? My name is Otto, and today we're going to be viewing the Maverick Dash 8 Dash 2, or basically the Maverick A2 if you don't want to include dashes. If you're new here, please subscribe and like the video. It just only takes a second, and you can stay in touch with all the latest stuff I upload. I even have a thing down below where you can get a text when I upload a new video, but let's get right into it. I'm going to have three classes for the Maverick A2 with all different attachments. First, we're going to be using the variable zoom and the silencer. This is what the actual scope looks like. Is actually square. This is more modern or like sci-fi looking. One thing that I have noticed is the scope and the recoil on this are only up. If you're wondering why the recoil is up, ask the developers. But literally, if you just spray, your recoil is just gonna go basically up. And you can control the sniper really well once you get a hang of it. The speed and reload time on it are actually good. I'm using side of hand to actually increase it, but a long reload takes not even a half a second more. It is honestly one of my favorite snipers. Actually, it is my favorite sniper now. It makes you actually want to snipe more. I mean, the sniper scope is actually just amazing. It says like 86% of the top, all that crap, V.1.7 lab. Which, I'm actually not sure what that's supposed to mean. Maybe it's from some laboratory because it says lab. I honestly don't know. If I find a video or any information on the internet, I'll actually include that. But, we're going to check out right now is the other sniper. Which is going to actually have, I think that's an ACOG, a chrome barrel, and basically the attachment to do more damage. Yeah, no, this is thermal. When you add a thermal, it becomes a little more... Cool. In my opinion, I love the thermal scope the most on this. It just it takes away the box, but overall, when you add it, it just looks amazing. It, you, it's just a simple scope, but in the long run, it's probably going to make you more accurate because you're actually probably used to the reticles because most snipers in the game have it. Overall, I give this gun a 10 out of 10 in my opinion. It is literally my favorite sniper. One of the things, though, I was hoping when they released the DLC was that you'll be able to, like, press down on the D-pad to turn it into assault rifle, which wasn't the case, but you really can't complain because that would actually probably be a lot of coding involved in C++ with the game design in, but you can't really complain. I'm playing on the Xbox One, if you're wondering, but I'm out. I hope you enjoyed my review on the Maverick A2. If you guys want to play on Xbox One with me a ghost, I will include my gamer tag down below. Just add me, follow me, or whatever. Xbox screwed up the damn UI, but have a nice day. Bye.